I'm about to call Mother Nature and wish for some sunlight or sunshine. Uh, you know, I'll take both at this point. <laughs> Sunlight's coming up here pretty soon. We're already starting to see some nice blue hue because we're seeing that cloud deck is still there. Now, we were hoping to see some breaks in the clouds, but the clouds are actually helping us stay away from seeing temperatures into the lower 30s, acting like a nice blanket, which I know I would love to be back under right now. But we're waking up bright and early with you right now, and so you're probably wondering, all right, well, what's what are we looking at going forward? Well, right now, these clouds still filtering into our region. They're going to hang around a little bit. We're seeing some bits of clearing up, but not enough to really make an impact. But we are seeing our temperatures being impacted, as I mentioned. Most of us into those lower we 40s down to the south, but we are still seeing some areas. Fredericktown, 35. We're seeing Mount Vernon at 38, along with Marion. Not doing too bad. Pretty mild for it being December. And so our threat checker bar staying low, mostly cloudy. I know, kind of gloomy. But we are going to be seeing that go into our Tuesday with the chances of rain showers and even some, maybe even some storms going through. Expect those showers to linger even into our Wednesday with more clouds returning. But if you are going out there today, maybe you've going to the school bus right about now. Pretty calm right now, I, I could say. But if you're doing some decorating, not doing too bad with temperatures into those mid 40s, if we can really get there and climb into those temperatures. But even into the night hours, again, the mostly cloudy sky going to stay with us and it's going to keep us a little bit warmer than at least those mid 30s. So by tomorrow, if you are going again to catch that school bus, maybe you're sending the kids off to the school bus, maybe send them with the umbrella because we're going to notice some changes coming in primarily late morning into the later half of the afternoon with those winds starting to pick up first. Our temperatures will be the second thing that we notice going into those lower 50s. And then we're going to notice the rain chances start to really come about. And we're talking about some pretty heavy showers. But right now, no showers to talk about because that system still forming off to the west and into the plains. That low eventually going to make its way. But right now, as that starts to track, we're going to notice some snow probably dropping about four feet, even more blizzard conditions off to the high plains down to the south, not really into our region. We're going to be tracking some severe storms, even some tornadoes. But again, I have to, I have to emphasize not our region below it, but we will be seeing some gusty winds out of this, some heavy rain showers and even some thunderstorms with it. But rain's not out of the region yet until about late Wednesday, but that could change. And so if it does to track that storm activity with us, you can download that storm track three app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. But if you are again decorating, today's going to be our best day to do it because we're going to be tracking just the overcast skies, no precipitation but we'll dry out as we go into a Thursday, but it's going to be a little gusty after that front goes out. We'll be pretty mild through the day, but then as we go into our evening hours, early morning Friday, that's where we're going to be seeing temperatures going back down into those upper 20s. Not doing so great, but we are staying dry for the weekend. I know there's commencement and there's a few other activities that there, that there's going on, but uh, it's going to be pretty mild, not doing too bad.